Well, Lord, you saw senior checking in. I haven't shot much video of this project uh, uh, along the way, but we do have enough so you get an idea what I'm up to. Getting ready to glue down the neck. Uh, excuse me, glue down the, the fingerboard. And the saddle is going to be glued down. I know it may be a sacrilege, but on my saddles I have two tiny screws that I'm going to use to help it. I'm going to glue it and screw it, as they say. And seeing as this has F-holes in it, I didn't really want to put a lot of pressure all over the place, which would only bend it and probably make a lousier fit. I figured this way I'd rather pull the top up to the uh, saddle instead of trying to push the saddle down into the top. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm, as you can see, I've got my stuff just kind of loosely set up. These are the clamps. These are the clamps that I've made. I think I have discussed them a little bit before, but they just kind of thread into my tabletop here, and uh, I can use them to acquire quite a bit of pressure. I can adjust them and then put the pressure down on them. Same way with the one at the head end of this. Nothing too spectacular about it. I just have a little back brace in here with a threaded rod so that when you do it, Put pressure on here it doesn't just bend the threaded rod back it helps support it and gets you some good down pressure so i'm not gonna have you watch me slather on the glue but that's what i'm going to be doing next and uh we'll be taking a look at it pretty soon uh, i'll be putting the uh machine heads or tuners on and be getting ready to string this little critter up and to see what it sounds like so we'll do so senior checking out and gonna do a little bit of gluing it and hoping everything comes out lined up and stays lined up so Lord do salt senior checking out well Lloyd do salt senior checking back in <clears throat> working on this here tennis racket ukulele I have attached the the bridge on it oh, I should say yeah the saddle I'm probably not <laughs> get it right Lloyd and uh, I did put two screws in and then I plugged them with some nice contrasting colored plugs on the top I suspect that'll never come loose because you never should say never but I'll take a chance on this one so we're going to declamp this critter and see what we got here these are the clamps I really mentioned these before but, they're adjustable. I can move them around on the table and clamp kind of odd places and odd angles and all that stuff. So, the only problem with these is the threads on oh, sometimes grab a little bit. And we get around that. So, as I Rattle on here. Take off the clamps. I put calls on both sides so I didn't mess up the instrument. And uh, where are we here? This is where we're at. We have it on. I got just came out pretty good. I got just a little teeny bit of work on the edges here to blend it in with the neck. And it's glued down nice and tight, so we'll do a little bit more work there. And then we'll put the machine heads on. And I'll cut the spots for the strings here and then string this critter up. Oh yeah, and then I'll probably buff it out a little bit just to see what it's going to look like with a little buff job on it. So, that is just about where we're at with that. And I'm going to take these clamps out and I'll be signing off here shortly. Just going kind to of show how these work. I think I did before, but a little bit more training. Come up a little better mechanism so that I can lock the screw at the top. And not have to use a wrench to thread these down in. Uh, this 
suspect after I run them down here a few times, they're probably going a little easier. I just thread it into the wood, so. Oh dear. There we go. Yeah. Once you reach a certain point, moves right along. Moves right along. And I can take them out. They're not perfect, but they're not too bad either. So it's kind of what they look like. This here is so I can put another block on the end so you can get a, a lever action here. Otherwise, when you're, you're down close to the tabletop, it's not bad. But if you do move up here, you're going to have a fulcrum arm that's going to want to bend that threaded rod back. So by putting this on the back side, it allows you to stabilize it and put a one large amount of pressure on it. To get the job done. So, anywho, that's where that's at. And that's what I want to do. I don't know if you could, if that's in the, I guess it's still in the camera angle. Yeah, I want to get me a wing nut or something to go on the top of these so I can lock these down when it comes time to screw them in and take them out. I don't have to use a wrench, it'll go up <coughs> a lot faster. So, that's the name of that tune, folks. So I will be putting the machine heads on. And uh, a little finish here and there. But I think it's looking pretty decent. I have no idea what it's going to sound like. But it's... Eh. We shall see. You never know until you string them up and bang on them for a while. So Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out, and I think when we check back in, I will probably have the machine heads on this and be getting ready to hopefully string it up. A little bit of touch-up work here and there, like I said, on the sides, but other than that, I'm finally in the home stretch on this project, which seemed to have taken forever. Lloyd Dussault Sr. checking out. Well, good morning. Yeah, well, it's morning where I am anyway at the moment. Um... Just kind of rounding out the project here, finishing up. And I dispensed with all the demonstration of how boring it is to do all the sanding and buffing and polishing and spraying. So I'll give you with the pretty much the end product except for the string up and the final playing of the unit here. So this is kind of what she came out with. Got a pretty good shine on it. I love the my fretboard. That's that cherry burl wood, it's just absolutely beautiful, I think, and it's hard as a rock. And there's the back side. That didn't come out too bad with the lightning bolts. And the machine heads are on. And naturally, it's a zero fret model. I hope that that works out good for me. And there's a good look at the peg head with the steer head burnt into it by accident. <laughs> okay, so... That is that. Now I'm going to struggle through, see if I can get this thing strung up and see what it sounds like and find out whether it's going to be a wall hanger or a player. So, Roy Dussault Sr. checking out. Well, we're going to give it a go here. It's not going to stay tuned for more than about 20 seconds, but let's hope it's close. Probably not in tune already, because when you first put them strings on, on nylon strings especially, they uh, do all kinds of crazy things. So, just takes a while for them to stretch out, but uh, I'd say this case is closed on the uh, tennis racket ukulele. Um, doesn't sound bad from at the moment, we'll see after play it a while and see if I like it. So, uh, Lloyd Deuce, I'll see you checking out. The uh, tennis racket ukulele is uh, wrapped. <laughs>